Thank you for joining me today. Data is your most critical asset but could become your biggest liability if not properly secured. Security is quite important for most data warehouse projects as they typically have sensitive data including social security numbers, date of birth, salary numbers, and so on. My name is Vipin Samar, Senior Vice President for Oracle Database Security Development, and today I would like to share with you about how data is protected inside the autonomous database from different attack vectors. Today's attacks are wide and varied. They range from targeting the infrastructure and databases to your applications and users. Let's first start with security of the cloud infrastructure. Our cloud is highly secured for both physical and network access. All cloud administrators go through multiple rounds of background checks. All of their activities are logged and monitored for unauthorized access attempts. And then a centralized security information and event management system, SIM, tracks all events, including firewalls, intrusion prevention and detection systems, net flows, and so on. Hackers would then attempt to target the databases directly as this is the treasure that they are after. They can exploit the weaknesses in the infrastructure or any of its components, and if nothing else, they can target the users of this platform, whether they are the administrators, the analysts, the testing teams, or the development people. There is no one single technology to address all these attack vectors. Now, Oracle has had the most comprehensive set of technologies for securing the database, whether it is to evaluate what risks you are carrying, what preventive controls are in place to prevent any data loss, even when attacks are mounted, and then to detect such attacks when they occur. And finally, controlling access to data through embedded security policies within data itself. However, doing it right with all the best practices can be a challenge, especially when security talent has become scarce, we don't have time, or when hackers are ready to exploit any mistakes made anywhere. A big part of security is closing the known gaps, securing assets by default, and using the best practices for security. And this is what we do, plus automation, for all autonomous databases on the cloud. So let's walk through the main controls. The OS and databases configuration is hardened. Security patches are automatically applied every quarter or as needed, narrowing down the window of vulnerability. And by patching here, we mean full stack patching, including the firmware, the OS, clusterware, and the database. By applying patches in a rolling fashion across the nodes of a cluster, there is no application downtime. There are no steps required from your side. Patching just happens. Now moving on to encryption. We encrypt your data everywhere, whether it is your SQL net traffic, data in your table spaces, or in your backup. The keys are managed automatically without requiring any intervention on your part. Encryption cannot be turned off. Encryption just happens. Now, to ensure that it's only your team members who can access your autonomous databases, we first use public keys for mutual authentication and then use strong passwords to authenticate individual team members. Monitoring and auditing is a key security pillar. Any activity on the autonomous databases by cloud administrators is locked centrally and monitored for any abnormal activities. We have enabled auditing on your databases using predefined policies so that you can view them for any abnormal access. And then finally, we have resource management controls so that you always have access to the computing resources allocated to you. We take care of the security of the infrastructure, including the database. We automate it, leaving nothing to chance or human error. However, Security is also a shared responsibility as it relates to your data. To address threats from multiple angles, multiple levels of controls are needed on your sensitive data. Here are a few of those. If you have data redaction, this helps you control who can see different types of data based upon proper authorization. For example, you may want to limit who can view the real values of data such as date of birth or salary levels or bank account numbers. Some may be shown fake values, depending upon your redaction policies. But note that underlying data is not really changed. 
Then we have data security through virtual private database and label security. So you can also control quite easily which rows of data are made available to which sets of users. For example, you may want to limit access to certain rows based upon users, department, or geography. For certain regulations such as GDPR, you may want to limit who can see the European resident specific data. And then through data masking, you can permanently mask and alter the bits on the database to limit exposure if there were ever a breach. There are often scenarios for test and development teams or partners where this database is widely used for running queries. But under no circumstances, you want them to be able to read your sensitive data. In such cases, you can use data masking before you bring your data to autonomous data warehouse cloud and mask all sensitive data permanently without losing your referential integrity. Custom auditing. Most commonly used audit policies are turned on by default. You can also add your own custom audit policies and analyze the audit views for any abnormal usage. To wrap it up, having strong security is critical to preserve the value of your data assets. The hackers only need to have one successful hit to get in, but we need to be successful all the time in order to avoid a data breach. The only way to do this and keep our data safe is through defense in depth with multiple controls, security on by default, security automation, security best practices, and a secure cloud infrastructure. And that is what you get with Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud. To learn more, go to oracle.com slash database. And thank you for joining me today.